what up people we're back in anime last stand and what we're gonna do in this video is show you the character we unlock at room 100 in infinite tower so as you can see we're at the boss level this is room 100 and the boss is not even that strong we we're basically able to do it with her and him and yeah we completed the room nice Let's go back to the main menu and check it out. There also is a new code that gives you uh, 50 rerolls. If you want to go into the description, it is there right now. I'll show it on the screen right now. Boom, boom. Sometimes it doesn't work on public servers though, just so you guys know. So I suggest you join a private server. So I'm going to try it here and it worked. Cool. So we unlocked the new infinite castle unit. And room 100 wasn't too hard. Let's get our rewards and let's see what we could get. We get something called ratio capsule. And it says that uh, this capsule's treasure remains hidden until a later date. We can't even open it. Damn. So it's one of those secret hidden things. Okay. But uh, I guess we're just going to drag. Uh, we're going to grind this again. Right now we're at uh, seventh place. And uh, yeah. I think we'll be able to chill, yo. Ooh, never mind. 23k? And we're only at 37? I don't feel safe. I do not. Yeah, we're only at 38. We're going to have to grind these quests. And do uh, portals. Basically, we just got... Uh, we've been grinding challenges to get uh, a lot of rerolls. Right now, we have 549. And yeah, we don't really need any character. That's pretty crazy that we got an exclusive unit that we can't open. I kind of like that. It adds a lot of mystery to the game. But right now, let's just do the tier 5 portal. And let's check out how strong Guts is, yeah? We'll do a video like that. This is just a random video that I decided to make, because uh, why not? If anyone joins, we're chilling. If they don't join, we're still chilling, though. Always use Oshi. And let's just start it up and see what's up. So I'm going to say that out of all the characters I use, I'd probably have to say Pain is my favorite character to use. Obviously, these characters are very good as starting characters. Use her for damage. She does damage quickly because she's doing two second attacks. And then use him for uh, slowing down the characters. I always let her attack, kill a couple enemies. And then I place down Oshi. Before I get to wave two to get the most money. So as soon as we hit that number, boom. And then we're going to get bonus money. Put him down. Someone's not voting for the double speed. That's kind of tragic. Either way, yeah, so basically, the best character that I have right now is uh, Oshi. Uh, not Oshi, sorry, Pain, as you can see. He's really cheap to place down. And only after four upgrades. Two, three, four. Okay, we can't fully upgrade them right now. Usually I wait till after, but we always have an abundance of money, so it's not like it even matters if we do that, you know? But yeah. At number four upgrade, he's doing slow. And he's doing three million. And it's not even that expensive. 
Obviously, the real strat for Summer is just to upgrade Oshi. These dudes pretty much take care of everyone until, uh, for quite some time. Unless it's on short range. If it's on short range, what I do is I upgrade her only. Because I don't want to upgrade him too much. If you do that, you lose his lightning. If you get to upgrade 3 with him, he's no longer slowing enemies, which is really bad. Okay, so he's using the lightning dude. Cool. I think it would be cool if you could gift items in this thing. Like during this, you know? If I could just like click on my items and like it shows items and I could gift people items. Because you're like, oh snap, this person needs that. Hook them up, you know? Either way. We're kind of just uh, chilling. No rush. But let's check out Guts. This is why I started this video. Well, why I continued it, let's say. So he's doing 43, uh, 437 damage on placement for a thousand, which is pretty decent. How much does this dude do on placement? Okay, he's doing around the same amount. And what's the difference between his? Okay, uh, he's doing uh, bleed though. So let's say if I upgrade him. One, two, three. After this, he's not going to do bleed. So right now he's doing 1.3 and 1.8 damage per second for this. For bleed. Guts is pretty expensive though. But once you get him to uh, flight, he's chilling. Even this is good. Does his bleed do a little bit more? I'm not sure if it scales like that. It almost looks like it does. Just because he's him? I have no idea. But it looks like the ratio is off for sure. Yeah, he's super expensive as you can see. You have to get all the way to upgrade 9 for him to actually start doing hybrid damage. Which kind of sucks. But what doesn't suck is the fact that he does a crazy amount of range right now. But the reason I like Pain more than, even though he's better, he's doing 49 million uh, damage over time and 35 million max damage. Pain is really cheap. So let's just sell him and let's just, uh, yeah, we got paid. We have 514k. So it's under 100, it's about 90k. Let's say 90k, he's doing 18 full AoE with the 76 radius. And he slows. So, and his attack is pretty fast. How fast is Guts? Guts is kind of slow, but it's still good. Obviously, he has the atomic bomb, which is pretty sick. But yeah. How about his crit? Does Pain have more crit? No, they all have the same amount of crit because that's the skill tree thing. But yeah. 76 range. His range is 59. And his is 78. So he attacks faster, but he does less damage. How much faster is he attacking? That's actually a third faster. Or a quarter faster, I mean. So that's actually quite significant. And he's not an expensive hybrid. But I always go with Pain to drop first. Because, well, he's a 20k hybrid, I think, right? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, that's a 20k hybrid. Then it gets cheaper. But yeah. All those units are very good. What is this? Why is it showing that? It's been really weird lately. <laughs> 
But uh, yeah, that's uh, basically our team right now. If we had to replace one unit, I guess we would replace uh, Freerun. Because we don't need her at all in the game. Because we have him. If we just invested with him, I'm sure we'd be all right. But she helps, you know? She helps. We'd have we'd like to place maybe someone with more damage. Plus she doesn't have Avatar. I would like maybe if we had Avatar for everyone, she'd be a lot better for sure. Not a maybe, we'd know they'd be a lot better. But yeah, this is our units right now. I'm not too sure what I should uh switch it up with. I think this is a solid team. But yeah, we're also trying to, we're trying to get to uh, Entrepreneur on him. But two money units kind of overkill a little. I would prefer to have more damage. Like we could simply, this is our main team right now, like this. We could use him and we don't need to like invest into anybody else because he makes so much money. But yeah, let me know. If there's a unit that I'm not using that's really good. I mean, Sunjin Wu is really good. He's expensive, though. But uh, I'm looking for a starter unit. I guess he's expensive and he's strong. But she does AO. She does also lightning at the end. If you just use these two and upgrade her at the end, she does lightning. And he does slow. So they're actually really good for each other. I think this is basically the best team right now for me. If I had Glitch Shanks, then yeah, I'd replace her with Glitch Shanks. You know what? Let's do a couple rolls for the people. Let's see if we get a Glitch Shanks real quick. Even though it's uh, not like a crazy event, it's not the four times event, I suggest you save tokens and wait for those events and then spend them during the four event like those 50 rerolls right now i guess if you're starting player use a couple maybe try to get something like a mythic passive you know if you get a really good one keep it obviously but yeah she's also all right but yeah let's roll on shanks a couple times and see what we get one two three we'll do one more four five six seven eight Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This is what happens always. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Five thirty, yo. So, what did we learn? Absolutely nothing. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And let me know if there's any leaks or anything about this. Who's it supposed to be? Because it says contains an exclusive unit. And it'll be revealed at a later date. What I assume is that the prize for uh, being in the top 100 right now is... Uh, is basically Madara. We're going to have Madara Achia. And this is going to be Madara as well. Awaken Ninja. And he might be a lot better though. Ooh. The winning T. Contribute plus 500 plus points to qualify. So do this before the end of the day. At least get 500 points. And I would suggest that you make maybe two accounts. One on Hunters, one on Dragons. Obviously you want one on Dragons because Dragons going to win. But if let's say you weren't sure if you're going to win. If your main account's on Dragons. Or your main accounts on Hunters. Make an account, get it on Dragons, and then trade the unit later. And see what's up. That could be the strat. But right now, Dragon's winning. Because of me. I'm the best. You guys are awesome for watching the video to this point. Appreciate all the support. I'm going to head out. Let me know if you want more videos like this. Peace.